One of the biggest surprises in the lifetime of 5th edition D&D so far is the popularity of the Ghosts of Saltmarsh. There was such an allure to playing in a sea-based campaign with your own ship, whether you chose to be pirates or treasure hunters or just explorers. But beyond Saltmarsh, there really wasn't a lot out there to support shipbuilding or sailing adventures or sea combat. At least until now. The Captain's Logbook is a 5e sourcebook that expands upon ship battles and customizable ship crafting. It also brings you adventures centered around piecing together the titular logbook secrets, taking you to over 20 new islands. There are new nautical subclasses to make sure your players have thematic characters, and more than 50 new magical items to discover. In today's paid Kickstarter preview, I'll go over what this project has to offer so you can see if it is right for your table. If you want to check out the campaign at any time, please use that link up there in the corner or in the doohickey down below. But for now, let's open up the Captain's Logbook. Let's start off with the book itself. The hardcover Captain's Logbook is more than 200 pages long and covers the campaign setting and adventure, plus all you need to know about acquiring a ship, customizing it, ship combat, and exploration. Customizing your ship isn't just about spending money. No, you will have quests and campaigns to go on to acquire unique parts to upgrade the ship as you see fit. One thing I'm really excited about with this book is the crew management options. You'll be able to recruit really interesting and unique NPC crew members to operate your ship. If you're a game master who likes to surround your players with colorful characters, this is going to be right up your alley. And I should mention that this campaign and book is brought to you by William Martin, who did the great Peculiar Discoveries Magic Item and Companion series, and the villainous Champions of the Shadow Keep adventure, where you got to play as the bad guys in a Dungeon Keeper style adventure. I'll have our video previews of those campaigns up there in the eye for you to check out too. The setting for the adventure here is the Forbidden Sea, which is a region awash in dangerous magical fields, where all sorts of strange and Lovecraftian phenomena abound. There are more than 20 islands to explore, each of which has its own map, monsters, treasures, and stories. Each island represents a different level of play from 1 to 20. And this is a setting that you can play independently or drop into whatever setting you like, from the Forgotten Realms to Greyhawk. The titular logbook will lead your players on their adventure, giving them hints and clues to guide their travels. It's just full of lore and riddles and puzzles and hand-drawn images. The adventure itself here runs from levels three to eight. And yes, you do get a physical version of that logbook that your players can pour over to suss out all its mysteries. Now, the book is still in production, but I've been able to get a preview of some of it. Here you can see some of the magical items that your players can come across in the adventures, from personal weapons like the lightning cross crossbow and tridents, to potential ship upgrades like various types of cannons, a ghostly ship's wheel, and more. I got a peek at chapter one of the adventure as well, and I'm happy to report that it includes the main thing that I look for in adventures, difficult and meaningful choices for your characters and players to make. Without giving too much away, the adventure plays like a straightforward high seas adventure that makes good use of the sailing mechanics and the ship-based combat. This isn't just a thin veneer of ocean-based adventuring over a standard adventure. They put extra care in taking full advantage of their setting and system. Let's take a closer look at a few of the extra accessories that you can get in this campaign. The special edition of the book will look like this. It'll definitely draw some attention to your bookshelf. The pack of illustrated reference cards here will include more than 50 cards with all the mechanics you need to make use of these items in your games. Here is the gorgeous ocean-themed dice, which includes seven dice. The map set includes one map for each island, plus an ocean battle map. You can check out the campaign page for more information on the map pack. The coin set here features four metal coins, and the Game Master will randomly determine which one is the real coin for story purposes, which should keep your players on their toes. The token set here are made of thick cardboard and represent the monsters and ships for your adventures. You'll get more than 50, and the set includes medium-sized 1-inch tokens and large-sized 2-inch tokens. And the DM screen puts your ship mechanics at your fingertips as you guide your players through their high seas adventures. Now let's go over the pledge levels. You can get digital versions of the source book and the captain's logbook for 32 bucks. You can expand your digital library with the digital pack tier, which also includes the magic item reference cards, tokens, and battle maps for 52 bucks. You'll be all set for your online high seas adventuring. 
if you like to get the physical books, which also come with the PDF versions, it'll run you 86 bucks. The hybrid pack comes with the physical books and reference cards, plus the goodies included in the digital pack for $119. The captain's pack has the special edition of the book, the log book, the cards, the battle maps, the token set, the metal coins, plus the digital pack for 143 bucks. And the Adam Rules pack includes all of the above, plus a DM screen, four copies of the physical log book to give out to your players, and the special dice set. That tier is 170 bucks. A few things to keep in mind with this and all fundraising campaigns. First, sometimes things change between the time I make these preview videos and when the campaign goes live, so please check out the Kickstarter page for any updates. Remember that Kickstarter isn't a store. You are funding the creation of a new product, so there is always some degree of risk involved. I never agree to make videos for campaigns unless I've seen enough evidence that I would feel comfortable backing myself. Keep in mind that products won't be delivered immediately. Check out the pledge levels to see the expected delivery date and note that shipping will be charged later. And that's the Captain's Logbook. If you have specific questions, please leave them for me down below. Again, you can find the campaign page in the icon up there in the corner or in the doohickey down below me. Stay tuned to the campaign page for updates and more reveals as the campaign unfolds. For more previews and reviews, you can find me on YouTube at The Gallant Goblin or on one of our social media sites over here. But for now, please stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at The Gallant Goblin.